They say life is all about the sweet things. And one of the sweetest of these is honey. We are here in Rongai in Kajiado County. I'm, uh, I've been directed to uh, a place around here. I have been told that the landmark is Club Honey Pot. Good thing I'm actually looking for honey, right? So unfortunately all I see is the club and a garage. But they insist this is the place I need to be, so uh, let's try and get lucky. Yes, this is your workshop. Yeah, this is my workshop. I love to know in a groove, and we are coming to the corner. So, mambo yote ya mzinga tunaifanya. Yes. Sasa ukitoa mzinga hapa ndio unasafirisha una kwa mtu ikiwa na nyuki ama ikiwa bila ama mtu anajuaje mzinga yake itapata nyuki okay. kutoka. Okay. Hapa tunafanya namna hii. Kwa mm. mzinga tukiunda mm. kuna ile beeswax tunaweka. Uh -huh. Hiyo ndio inaattract nyuki. Yes. Na bado tukiziundia hapa kuna zile zinaingia nyuki. Uh -huh. Yeah, aswa kama hizo zote ziko juu. Kama hizo ni. Si unaona pale kuna mzinga ziko juu. Yeah, no, no, zote hizo zimeingilia nyuki hapa. Eh. Kwa sababu hata ile wax sasa hiyo nikitaka mimi sasa kama kuna ah nikitaka kama wewe nitakwambia atakupelekea mzinga wako ukiwa na nyuki yani unataka kuniambia nikitaka uniletee mzinga yes utaniletea ikiwa na nyuki nitachukua moja tu hapa tuweke kwa ngari nikuletee kwa shamba utafungia nyuki kwa paper bag alafu mm. niletee kwa mzinga uziachilie ama no mzinga wetu tumeunda ina maana that mm -hmm. tunaweza close mashimo e, wakati nasafirisha nyuki nimeufunika au nikija pale kwako ndio nitakufunulia nyuki wako uone wakitembea sasa umeona hey, zimeanza kunitapa no, neno hazina neno hazina haya ninafaa kutulia yes hapa ndio unatengeneza eh uh, yes i yes, sold tunaundia hapa uh -huh. na bado hapo mbato tuna train vijana kuunda uh -huh. hives uh -huh. we normally trains people how to make okay. hives because uh -huh. kuna ile mtu unapata ana interest na ana uwezo wa kununua the hives uh -huh. so we train vijana because kuna size kadha kuna size tofauti yeah yeah we have uh, actually yeah, we are manufacturing three kinds of hives uh -huh. we have it tuna landstroth uh -huh. we have the jumbo uh -huh. and the kitbl tukiingia kwa machine uh -huh. hii ndio machine ya kwanza tumesema ni ya kupika mbao zetu randa tunakuwa uh -huh. na clean namna hii yes. ndio tuzile kwa hii mm -hmm. nayo hii kazi yake ni kuzikata na wakati tunakata kwa hii machine mm -hmm. tunaangalia size ya mzinga wetu mm -hmm. e, kama ni langstone tuna ile measurement ya langstone mm -hmm. kama ni KTBH tuna mm -hmm. measurement ya KTBH okay. alafu nayo ile unaliona pale mm -hmm. ni ya kutoboa mashimo ah. e, so hiyo tunatoboa mashimo nazo mm -hmm. wakati kwa frame zetu mm -hmm. ndio tuweze kuweka ile stitching wire mm -hmm. alafu tuweke ile wax ah. ndio 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 okay Mm. Sawa sawa. Ha, uko nako ndiko kwa ofisi okay, yako. Okay, tukiingia ka ni ka ofisi kangu ka ndogo uh -huh. unaweza karibia uone karibu ni ka ofisi kangu. Hapa uh -huh. tuna tu vitu twingi, kuna asali, uh -huh. kuna pollen, uh -huh. kuna propolis, uh -huh. vitu yote iko hapa. Mm. Mm. Alafu hapo ukiangalia kuna tuna attend shows kusomesha watu ufungaji wa nyuki. Hey, Aje yetu tu ni ufungaji wa nyuki. Yes, yes, kidogo kidogo. shamba yako yenyewe iko wapi? Okay, hapa tuna shamba pale pale kunaitwa Kiserian. Mm -hmm. From here to there sio mbali. Mm -hmm. Tutaenda nao uone vile tunafanya pale. Mm -hmm. Eh, ana shamba nyingine Na bado tuna mashamba Kitui. Kitui. Eh, tunafunga nyuki. Unatoka Kitui unakuja unakuja Rongai. Eh. Naleta mali eh. ile ni asali ya nyuki, eh. propolis, pollen. Mm -hmm. Hii mambo yote tunasema beeswax. Uh -huh. Eh, hii tunatoa kwa nyuki. Beeswax. So yes, this yes. is beeswax. Eh, beeswax. This is propolis. This is propolis. This is pollen. Pollen. Eh okay. Sa Kitui uko ndiko nyumbani. Kitui ndiko nyumbani. Uko ndiko nataka tuende. Ah basi sawa. Tuende Kitui. Hani, 
No, no, I'm, I'm not calling you honey. I'm, I'm talking about honey, you know, nature's sweetness. That is what has brought us here today to Kitui County, where Mr. Justice Kiema, a bee farmer, has invited us to his farm to see the process of uh, making the sweetness on seeds of gold. Thank you. Uh, hey. What? One. Mr. Kiyama? Yes, man. Who can do In your factory, you are. I love you. Distance, you can't do it. It's your It's your It's your money. 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 It's Okay. Babu yetu alikuwa anafunga nyuki mimi okay. mwenyewe baba yetu <laughs> mimi mwenyewe I know kuna familia ambazo watu hukua kwa laini fulani lakini si kila mtu huamua kuendelea na hiyo laini ya familia. Ndio ndio. Kwa nini wewe uliamua kuingilia? Oh, mimi nilipendea ufungaji wa nyuki mm. ni kazi rahisi. Uh -huh. I choki au choki mimi kwa by profession mimi ni mnyonge. Sina ile hiyo nguvu ya kulima. <laughs> lakini <laughs> ya asali ni kutoa tu. Kwa hiyo umesimama na hakuna kuchoka. Uh -huh. So wewe ume umelelewa na nyuki nimezaliwa kwa nyuki eh. nikalelewa kwa nyuki eh. na mimi mwenyewe nanjelea na nyuki Ay. na wangu wote na wale mimi staki zinikaribia usiongope eh. bora uwe hauna roho mbaya usiongope i have a very clean heart <laughs> i watched it this morning <laughs> on top of my skin Uh, when I completed standard eight, I didn't do it for from one, from two, from three, from four yeah. because of lack of uh, finance. finances. Yes. Pesa iligonga kutoka. Pesa ilikata kabisa. Yeah. After pesa kukata, yeah. I went uh, mwingi technical uh -huh. for mechanic, mm -hmm. driving, and mm -hmm. wiring. Mm -hmm. Then kichwangu kawa ina niuma. Sijari zika ata kindogo. <laughs> I told him no, no, no. <laughs> Mi nataka kazi ambao. <laughs> Bao tena uh -huh. nikamwambia ndio nikaenda mlango uh -huh. mlango yupo polytechnic uh -huh. pale nikajivunza mambo ya mbao uh -huh. asa nikawa kapenda kabisa uh -huh. kuwa kapenda uh -huh. vile tulikuwa tunaendelea na mzinga za kienyeji uh -huh. ndipo nilipatana na watu wanaunda mzinga ya kisungu uh -huh. pale nikaangalia mzinga nikaona rais kabisa uh -huh. Nikaunda mzinga wangu wa kwanza na with huko mbando. Yeah, 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 with my experience kulingana vile nimeona umeundwa. Uh -huh. Nikaunda nikaiweka mara moja ikashika nyuki. Aha. Uh -huh. Kushika nyuki kidogo kidogo nikaitiwa kibarua. Uh -huh. Eh yeah, sababu ya hiyo carpentry wangu. Uh -huh. Kambuni ya kuunda zile mzinga nilikuwa nalilia. Uh -huh. Ah nikafanya kazi pale miaka mitatu minne. Uh -huh. Ah nikaona haina haja. Uh -huh. Inafaa niendelee na kazi yangu. Ndipo uh -huh. nilianzisha hiyo Royal Bee Keepers. Uh -huh nikafanya kazi na kazi yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa kuunda mzinga za kwangu uh -huh. si za kuuza watu walikuwa nakuja ah mimi siuzangi naunda uh -huh. zangu za nyumbani uh -huh. mwisho mwisho nikanjitukia nimeingia kwa biashara <laughs> na uzia wao wa kulima uh -huh. ah kindoko kindoko nikaanza kuwatolea hiyo asali kwa uh -huh. ahead knowledge yote nilikuwa nayo yes. kwanza kuwatolea hiyo asali uh -huh. Ni nikaanza kuiuza mbado. So yeah. nikaona ah wacha hiyo industry ya hii kazi yote mm. yake. Na up to now naikimbiza mbado. Eh hey, sasa kiema na hii safari yote mm -hmm. nimechapwa na Kavumbi, kwao imekauka, ah, kahoma ndiko wako. Asali bwana. Wacha ni tuende na kazali kidogo yangu ya nyumba. Twende, 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 twende. Ya biza round me. Shall we well? Kiema? Yes, yes. Kuja? Ndiyo. Kwa sababu staki hizi nyuki nikiwa peke yangu. Na sisi, eh. tunamini kwanza, eh. nakata mi mwenyewe, eh. na unaonja. Mm. Sasa mimi ineza kula sasa. Uneza kula karibu. Aya, basi, santi sana. Santi sana. Nao ni tamu? Bon appetit. Are you know me wanana mm. mikujia. Mm. Yeah, they are my bees. Mm. So easy. No no, it's mekuwa mingi. No no no, hazina neno. Uza uh, ngope. Uh, no no no, hazina neno. Niko na maraji. Bora, no no no. Tunisema mm. uwe na raw safi. Raw safi. Eh, na una raw safi. Kula sali bila wasiwasi. So, Mr. Kiema? Yes. Nataka nikienjoy ya sali uniambie. Ndio. Naona nyuki hapa. Ni kweli? 
na ninaona ka hive kako hapo ili tudogo hizo ni hives ndio ndio so first of all nasikia umetaja the traditional hives yes. na pia the modern ones yes. so how many types of hives do you have yes? okay i have all the hives mm -hmm. i have the traditional one mm -hmm. i have the modern ones mm -hmm. even i have the ones there for stingless mm -hmm. bees uh -huh. yeah so with 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 each hive there is a particular type of bee that is there no what it is wakiwa kwa kila mzinga in their colony uh -huh. but you can see kuna tofauti like ukiangalia these two bees are different ndona huyu ni black yeah huyu ni black haya na huyo mwingine toko na red red hivi kidogo so tuna nyuki aina tofauti tofauti uh -huh. e, na hiyo uingia kwa mzinga ni bahati ukibahatika upate nyuki ya nyeusi black uh -huh. ah ina kazi zinjue kama nini how many types of products or how many products from the bee itself yeah. do you yourself the, you know uh, produce okay kwangu na produce vitu tofauti uh -huh. kuna kitu ya kwanza ni asali uh -huh. kuna the bees works uh -huh. kuna hiyo propolis na kuna nyingine inaitwa pollen. Mm -hmm. Pollen ni ile maua, yeah. ile maua the male part of a flower. Yes. Hiyo pollen bado tunaitoa. Okay. But kuna vitu vingine ziko juu zaidi kidogo, zinahitaji mm -hmm. masomo kidogo. Uh -huh. Kitu kama royal jelly, uh -huh. ni chakula kimalikia. Uh -huh. e, inapewa the queen bee. Mm. Mm. But bado inapatikana kwa mizinga. Mm -hmm. mm. So wewe uh, focus yako sana sana ni Ah, kazi yangu sana ni asali, asali. na wax uh -huh. na propolis. Hizo uh -huh. tatu ndizo tunatoa sana. Uh -huh. mm. Um so the number of bees have exponentially increased with every bite that I have taken to the point that I'm afraid of taking another bite because <laughs> more bites mean more bees and I don't want my bites to translate to the bee bites I'll be right back From Rongai in Nairobi to Kitui County, Kiema has both modern and traditional beehives for his honey business. We are joined by Mr. Kagia from Egerton University, who has 34 years of experience in bee-related studies. So, Mr. Kagio, yeah. you can probably tell us. Uh, Mr. Kiema has been fortunate enough to have had the the wealth of experience in growing up with bees. From you know, this is the third generation. His grandfather. His father and himself have been in beekeeping, but for somebody who has not had that, you know, that exposure to beekeeping, how does one get into beekeeping? How does one start? Uh, for one to venture into beekeeping, mm -hmm. one must first of all look for the necessary information mm -hmm. of how to keep the bees. Okay. Because we know the bees are dangerous animals. Yes. They can sting and they can kill. Yes. And therefore, one has. <coughs> They, they, they can kill. <coughs> oh, yeah. You, you conveniently choose to say that when we have a lot of bees yes. around. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because they can kill, uh -huh. so you need to know how to uh, keep the bees. But this one will not kill us for now. No. Okay, sour. Therefore, the information is required yes. so that you know where to place the bees okay. and how to look after them so that they don't become dangerous to other people. Yes. First of all, you must have a piece of land okay. where you can keep those bees conveniently uh -huh. without interfering with other people and, other, and your other activities. Do you need a huge piece of land? No, you don't. You need a very little piece of land. Okay. The bees can uh, stay in a very small place. Okay. Yeah. Right. The yes. other thing you need to consider is the public utilities like markets, mm -hmm. uh, schools, mm -hmm. uh, playground, mm -hmm. and other places where people can easily be stung. Okay. Once you know that, then you establish your apiary mm -hmm. light at the uh, in your piece of land mm -hmm. in a place where they will not be able to interfere with other people. In Kenya, are there areas that are specific to? You know, ecological zones that one should have their bee farming activities or it can happen anywhere. In Kenya, we can keep bees anywhere except in the water and in the deserts. <laughs> Otherwise, <Okay. laughs> right to where we are, uh -huh. we are in an arid and semi-arid uh, land. Yes. And that uh, comprises 80% of the country. Uh -huh. Now, those areas have the highest beekeeping potential. Yes. For one, they have a lot of uh, bees mm -hmm. and then they have a lot of plants which flower mm -hmm. at the same time, mm -hmm. thereby constituting a heavy honey flow. 
a lot of flowers flowering at about the same time. Yes. And that is when you get a lot of honey. Uh -huh. Secondly, mm -hmm. other agricultural activities mm -hmm. are, not, uh, are not as productive as beekeeping. Yes. So in these areas, it is the bees that do best than, yeah. uh, than any other uh, sort of agriculture. Okay. Yeah. You have your traditional uh, beehives. Yes. And you have your modern beehives. Yes. Now, I'm sure you always have a nuki. How it you beehives make it again? So so far, what do you use? What what what, are, what in terms of uh, equipment and other you know form of infrastructure? What do you have? Okay now, wakati unazia kilima nyuki after kuwa na mizinga kuna ile mavazi unava uwe na yo and you kenda kwa nyuki zako iwa kuna vita na nyuki. Haifa uuma na nyuki. Haifa kozi kuuma na nyuki iyo nyuki na kufa. Ina toka na zemza kaza dani ikitoka na ile sting. So ikikuma iyo meuwa. So it's actually dangerous to the bee to sting you. Yes, 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 because you kill your bees. Uh -huh. Yeah, you kill your bees. Right. Do you know now? Okay. okay, we have the protective suit. Mm -hmm. Then you know, to protect mm -hmm. from the head to the feet. Okay. The mm -hmm. We call it bee suit. This is the suit. Okay. It has a veil. Mm -hmm. Okay. It has a veil mm -hmm. in a mikono mm -hmm. and it has the overall. Okay. Yeah. Kwa mikono, bado we have the gloves. Okay. You can use the, uh, this kind of gloves. Let me remove them. We have two kinds of uh, gloves. Mm -hmm. You have the, the rubber ones. Mm -hmm. Na kuna zingine mbado za leather, but sa ingine tutangkataanga leather kindogo. Okay. Kuna tunyuki kama tuwangu tukali. Mm -hmm. Kuna pata tunandunga ata the leather. Ah. Na tumeona nyuki kindunga ina? Mm -hmm. In Inakufa. Yeah. So I fai, you fai chochote, you can't quit and So, Sana Sana, you're not just protecting yourself, but you're also protecting your yes, bees. Yes, the bees. Yes, yes. But you know, mm -hmm. instead of using the traditional smoker, we mm -hmm. have two kinds of smokers. Okay. We have the modern smoker mm -hmm. and we have the traditional one called okay. Umui. Okay. We are by Unaweka kwa moto in a light. Uh -huh. So, wakati unaenda kwa mzinga kwa na yon moto, inachoma the, uh, the, uh, the wings of the bees. Ah. So, ni kwa kwa unawamua. Okay. Do you know, unawamua, we use the modern smoker. Okay. Yeah, kuto only the smoke, uh -huh. without the fire. Uh -huh. uh, so now this is our smoker. Uh -huh. Then, still we have the bee brush mm -hmm. in your uh, brush of the bees. Mm -hmm. Wakati so kutandika? No, no, no. Okay. Just the brush of your bees. Ito kia tupole kola. Kati hile comb, yeah. mweke kwa mbake tikiwa na nyuki. Yeah. Ako nyuki utawa uwa. Yeah. Natu miona nyuki nima, ni mali. Yes. Takubali uwe mali. Apana. Uh, uh, still, uh, uh, usiwe mali. Wamonan, usiwe mali. Mm. We have this called the hive tool. Okay. Hive tool inakusaidia wakati kufungua mzinga wako. Uh -huh. Even to lift their friends. Okay. So, kazi raisi. Okay. Na inakwambia cause mini mnyonge. Uh -huh. Jirona tunafanya kila kitu. Still, we have there. Wood shavings. Uh -huh. Inde tuna tumia kwa smoker. Ah. Tuna weka kaa la moto ndani. Uh -huh. Then tuna weka wa wood shavings. Okay. Then we press. Uh -huh. Ina tuwa motion bila kutuwa moto. Mr. Kagio, you said that for one to be able to start bee farming, one needs, uh, of course, information on what to do, what not to do. So where, first of all, can one get such information? And then after the information, the equipment, tools, infrastructure, where can one get that? For technical inf information, we have places where people can go for this information. Mm -hmm. One, you can come to Yaton University mm -hmm. and you'll be given the relevant technical information yes. that uh, you require. Okay. The other thing <laughs> is that why, if you're in Nairobi, mm -hmm. There are places where you can get the same information. Yes. You can get it at the National Beekeeping Youth Institute yes. next to the Nana School. Yes. You can also get it uh, from Royal uh, uh, Beekeepers. Yes, they, Royal, they, keeper, uh, Royal yeah. Beekeepers. Yes. yes. They are also able mm. to get to give you the information. Yes. We also have ISIPE, that is the International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology. At Kasarani. At Kasarani. Yes. They have also that information. Yes. We also have the Honey Care mm -hmm. and also the Kenya Beekeepers uh, Limited. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are in Akuru, you can get the same information mm -hmm. from Balaka Agricultural College. Mm -hmm. And then we have a modern uh, equipment producing uh, workshop mm -hmm. at uh, Cabernet mm -hmm. by the Kenya uh, Kerio Valley Development uh, Authority. Okay. So all those areas you can get this, uh, the information. Okay. And recently, mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, there is a beekeeping uh, apiculture institute mm -hmm. 
uh, under the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Organization. Yeah. It is based in um, in Marigat, okay. in, uh, next to Pakera uh, Station. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kiema, yes. uh, umesema, so in total, how, how many, which year can you say you started beekeeping? Oh, I started in, um, back 2007. 2007. Yes. So between 2007 and uh, now, that is uh, at least eight years. Yes. At least eight years. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Kagio has 34 years. 34 plus eight is 42. That is 42. I'm standing in between 42 years of experience. I feel I am ready to harvest some honey. Enough talk of bees. Let's suit up and harvest some honey. Wait for it. Wait for it. After the break. <laughs> No, it's not biological warfare, it's bee farming. But before we hatch the bees, we need to light up the fire. Chiema, no, it. light it up. Smoke uh, and bees are enemies, mm -hmm. so that once you produce the smoke, it will mask the effect of that chemical, <laughs> which we call alum pheromone, <laughs> so that you reduce the chances of being stung by a bee. The other thing is, the smoke also makes the bees to go and uh, suck a lot of honey from the combs. Mm -hmm. So they are now more engaged in sucking the honey mm -hmm. than in stinging. Ah. And, wh and when the, their stomachs are full, mm -hmm. their stinging efficiency is reduced. Uh -huh. Because the sting of a bee is right at the tip of the abdomen. Yes. So even if the bee lands on your, uh, on your skin, mm -hmm. it doesn't bed easily. So, yeah, so right, okay. So now, I am the smoker. I, I mean, the person who does the smoking, not, not that I'm a smoker. Now, right now, the bees are now, not that, smoking. That is enough. That is you enough. You do not have a store of the honey. Yes. You leave some for the bees. For them to eat. Yeah, yeah you can't have a store of the honey. Because it's And leave food. the bees without some food. Yes. Therefore, uh, that is why we, you don't have the honey because you see it. Yes. You do leave at least one of the, the one third of the honey. Yes. Uh, back at the hive. So that the bees can continue using it as food mm -hmm. as they build more crops. Okay. Yeah. So is this a specific tree that was used in yeah, the Yeah, there making? are some special trees, uh -huh. the indigenous ones, yes. called Itula. Okay. Itula is the best okay. for beekeeping, mm -hmm. which was normally used by our great grandfathers. Now, after that, yeah. now, as you have heard, we have to leave some honey for, for, for the, the bees. bees because yes. the honey is the food for the, for the bees. For the bees. Yes. Now we have to close our eye carefully without killing the bees. So, we have two layers of bees. Yeah, yeah, it has the brood chamber and the animals, okay. which is called Sufa. All of these hives, each and every one of them has its own queen. Yeah, yeah, every colony has its own queen. So, this, this is one colony, yeah, this is another, another colony, the other hive has its own colony. Uh, so, yeah. the ones that are here can never come to no, this no, one? No, no, they can't, they can't, uh. they can't. Yeah, okay. If they try to come at this one, uh -huh. they'll be like little robbers, so they'll be chased away by the, the others from that colony. Uh -huh. Modern beehives like Langstroth are frame-based. This makes it easy for harvesting without damaging the comb. Kiema, I thought you told us you mainly keep bees. Then then labda kuna mbuzi hapa, kondoni. Hata mosquito pia una breed. Ah, yes, a mosquito. Si tundogo si ni naona tukiingia. Ni tundogo, but ni aina ya nyuki. Tell us about the stingless bees. Now, the stingless bees, uh, is a, the word is a misnomer. Okay. 
Not that they don't have a sting. Okay. They actually have a sting. Okay. But they do not use it mm -hmm. for defense. Ah. Instead of uh, doing that, they can bite with their marbles, and then they'll come and disturb you at the nostrils, your ears, Places and where whatever. Places they can come in. Yeah, so, so that you move away from their nest. So they also make some honey. Yeah. Although their honey is uh, far much uh, lower in quantity yeah. compared to the uh, normal honeybee. Yeah. Now, the honey, it said also to be very medicinal, which is a fact. Okay. But uh, it is uh, slightly different from the honey of the, uh, honey uh, the, the, the honeybee. Kiema Tuambie. Yes. When is the harvesting period and how many times do you harvest, for example, kwa hive moja? Okay, if we try to look at our place, mm -hmm. semetu ni kame. Yes. So wakati hakuna ukame, hiyo wanza ni from November mm -hmm. to mwezi wa saba. Unaweza pata kama kilo ngapi ama lita ngapi? Unafima na kilo ama na mita? Asali tunafima na kilo. Eh. Kama tumestua mzingo wa kienyeji, mm -hmm. after tumei process, mm -hmm. tutue the wives and the honey, yes. kuna ile mzinga utengemena saisi yake. Okay. Kuna kilo tano, ah. kilo kumi, eh. kilo saba, eh. lingana na saisi ya mzinga. Eh, Molimu? Yeah. We, earlier, we, we, you, you mentioned that uh, the potential of bee farming in Kenya has not reached where it's meant to be. We are at approximately 20%. Yes. Why is that? Why are we not at 100% or at least 80%? There is a, a number of reasons. One of them is the fear of the bees. Apiphobia. Apiphobia. Mm. People fear to be stung. Yes. And therefore... I'm they, suffering they are, from that. Just because of that fear. In case you hadn't yeah. noticed. That, that uh, fear mm -hmm. makes a lot of people not to keep bees. Yes. And then uh, there is the environmental degradation. Mm -hmm. And uh, whereby we are cutting forest and uh, trees for, for example, making charcoal. Yes. Do you know you make more honey from honey than from... From uh, uh, more money from honey than you from would charcoal. Make from charcoal. Yes, ah. you get far much more. Yes. Then the, there is also the use of agrochemicals like the pesticides. Yes. Some are destroying the bees. Yeah. So, really, what 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 can you say then uh, is the importance of uh, bee farming and uh, actually the bee itself to 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 the community to and also to environment. Now, the, the importance of the honeybees in our system here is because of pollination. Aha. Pollination. Yes. Because it is pollination that normally gives us food. Yes. As you take a cup of tea or take a cup of milk, uh -huh. you may think a bee is not involved. Uh -huh. But it is the bee that pollinated that crop uh, which the cow went and ate. Eight, yes. Without that, then you will get it. It's For true. example, in the dry season, the bees normally uh, pollinate the acacia trees. Yes. And they produce pods. Yes. Those pods are used for feeding other animals yes. during the dry season. Ah. So it is said that some of the foods that we eat, like the carrots, yes. the cabbages, yes. the seed production yes. is done through bee pollination, uh -huh. without which they won't go. Uh -huh. Do you know that without the bees, some plants would grow to extinction? Because the, po the bee pollinated plants, their pollen grains are heavy. Yes. And they cannot be blown by the weed. Ah. And they are sticky. Okay. Therefore, they have to be practically picked from the anders uh -huh. and deposited on to the stigma. Uh -huh. A work done by the bee. Yes. Without that, there will be no seed production in those plants. Therefore, we will have nothing to, uh, for the next generation. Uh, Kiema? Yes. Kwa mzinga moja, tuseme, itakubidi utumie pesa ngapi sana, tuseme kupata mzinga, kumaintain, nini, nini, nini. Na eventually, utapata pesa kama ngapi kutokana na hiyo mzinga, ile ya sali na zile products itakupatia. Okay, kwa mzinga tukingia kama Langstroth, utapata yeah. mzinga wako na shilingi elfu ine, yeah. kwa mzinga moja. Yeah. Uwa mzinga wako kuyupata na elfu ine, utafuna minimum of 10 kgs, yeah. kwa mwaka uvune maratano. Yeah. So that is 50? 50 kgs. 50 in kgs. Yeah. Na uza sali yako cheap, ata shilingi miatatu pa kg. Pa kg. Yeah. So that okay. is 15,000. 15,000 yes, a year. Yes, na mzinga udinua 4,000. 4,000. So kwa mwaka unanda elfu ngapi? Kumi na moja? Na hiyo ni mzinga moja. Kwa mzinga moja. Okay, okay. Weka kwa na mzinga miya moja. Okay. Unapata ni mali kabisa. Aha. Kutoka kwa nyuki. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Na maintenance ya... 
ah kumendeni mzinga ni ile kazi rahisi kabisa uh-huh. cause utaenda kwa nyuki zako kutoa asali uh-huh. ile sawa ni kwenda bank uh-huh. kutoa pesa yako yes. ni kwenda tu kutoa pesa yako kwa <laughs> nyuki which uh-huh. mean ni asali na product zote za nyuki yes. nyingine ni ile tu tu vitu tu ndogo uh-huh. tuwa kuzuia kama wale tulisema siafu uh-huh. eh, the shugans uh-huh. yule animbanja uh-huh. na saa kibarua ngumu tunayo kindogo ni kwa watu kama wewe uh-huh. msikate miti ndio tuweze kupata asali kweli Empty combs are returned to the hive for the bees to refill with honey, thus saving the bees from wasting time and energy constructing a replacement comb. Molim, yeah. How hard or how expensive is it to maintain a beehive? In terms of, you know, in terms of money also and in terms of time spent. In one year, you require only 8 hours to spend at your hive. 8 hours. 8 hours. 365 days. Yeah, you multiply eight that hours. by 24. 24 hours. And you, you see the number of hours. You only need 8 hours to look at your hive harvest uh-huh. and do all those things from one hive. Uh-huh. Therefore, it's like you are making what? If you are harvesting less than 50 kilos of honey from one hive, uh-huh. you are only doing it. You only require 8 hours to make that money. Uh-huh. And if you calculate It means you are um, for the time spent you are making a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This century I was in Punjab. Yes. Agricultural university in India. Yes. And I found that they are they are dealing with the apiculture as a business whereby people professionals like lawyers and doctors are uh, stopping the white collar jobs. White collar jobs and venturing in into beekeeping. Bee. One pharmacist told us that he said instead of uh, treating people with the with the uh, those medicine. drugs medicine yes. he said he would be treating people through the bees and huh. so it's working one last question because it's it's whether it's fact or fiction yeah. a bee sting boosts one's immunity fact or fiction uh, it is not uh, it works both ways yes There are some of us who are hypersensitive to bee stings. Ah, yes. And therefore, uh, they, if you, they are stung, they can die or they can be taken to hospital. Yes. So it is uh, for us to experiment on that. Uh-huh. You need uh, to be through a medical doctor uh-huh. or somebody who is qualified. Yes. Now the treatment of diseases using bee products is called uh, apitherapy. Uh, yes. And it is uh, being done worldwide. Yes. But We take caution, especially on bee venom, yeah. because it is some people can react to it in the negative way, yes. or be, they become hypersensitive. Yes. So we don't want people to treat themselves. After talking to Kiema and the professor, it's evident that bee farming is a lucrative venture, which is why I decided to speak to Eric from Honeycare to get a real sense of this business. Where do you get your honey from? Honeycare Africa sources its yeah. honey from all over East Africa. Okay. We have Kenya, of course, this is home. Yes. Uh, we all have uh, stuff that's made at home. Mm. But uh, we also get our honey from South Sudan. Okay. And uh, largely Tanzania. Okay. Yes. Um, the amount of honey that you get mm-hmm. locally, you know, compared to the other places, mm-hmm. is it because that uh, the honey that comes from Kenya is not enough for it to go into processing that you need to get from other places around East Africa? So the world over, um, there is a huge demand for honey, for, for good honey, good mm. quality honey. Yes. And so Honeycare Africa goes out to make sure that the places where we are, we are getting our honey mm. are places where we can get sustainable supply okay. um, and also good quality supply. Okay. And so what we do is we work directly with farmers mm. all over East Africa um, to buy honey from them uh, at fair trade prices. Oh, right. um, and apart from that, what we do is we have field managers mm. who work directly with the farmers to tend to the beehives mm-hmm. and tend to the bees mm-hmm. just to make sure that the quality of product that we are getting from them mm-hmm. is quality that uh, you know the common monarch is going to enjoy okay yeah All right so what process uh, does the honey go through when it comes here this is where you process the honey this is where we process the okay. honey please take and us through the pack, process we package the honey okay so after honey is delivered here mm. to um, the processing plant mm. um, it, it basically comes in two forms either mashed honey or liquid honey Okay. So if it's liquid honey, it's pretty easy because we just need to put it into the pasteurizer. Mm-hmm. But if it's mashed honey, it it has a mix of um, the wax, the wax with the comb, yeah, something. with some dead bees, yes, you know. And yes. I, I know people don't like to hear that, but yeah. uh, it, it's true. <laughs> um, if it's mashed honey, it has to be squeezed out. It has 
to be pressed mm -hmm. uh, to make liquid honey mm -hmm. um, and then put in the pasteurizing okay. machine. Mm -hmm. So after it's pasteurized, mm -hmm. then it's packaged and labeled mm -hmm. and uh, you get your nice, sweet, juicy honey. So what's the purpose of pasteurization? So, so basically, um, honey in itself is a really... Um, I'd term it a very healthy product. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of natural sugars. Yes. It doesn't need a lot. In fact, most people prefer to eat it raw. Yeah. But um, because of regulations, mm -hmm. we are required to pasteurize the honey. Mm -hmm. um, and so pasteurizing helps in killing those small, teeny tiny bit of uh, germs that the honey might have picked up well, on its way. Transported. Yeah, exactly, yes. in transit. Yeah. Yeah. And so it helps a lot when you're putting out a product that mm. you have confidence in. Okay. However, that said, mm. we have had clients who say, we just want raw honey, pure raw honey, mm. not pasteurized, mm. not done anything. Mm. So what we do is we just sieve the honey, mm. sieve out the small little, you know, uh, tiny... Um, messy legs and yeah, wings and yeah. stuff mm. and then package it really nicely mm. for people who prefer to have some nice uh, supply of honey to the consumers versus demand for honey Generally, well, not just world over, but like, let's specifically go to Kenya. How is it? Well, um, there is a lot of demand for honey. Mm -hmm. And I think honey is the one commodity that uh, we should appreciate mm -hmm. is, is the most natural in its whatever state. Mm -hmm. With no additives at all, honey is the healthiest, probably sugar-infused um, product that mm -hmm. you could ever um, you could want you or your children to take. Mm -hmm. And so there, there's no doubt that there's growing demand for honey. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, um, the supply of it has been, um, um, has been, is not working out really well mm -hmm. because most brokers are bringing into the market products that um, are unhealthy, mm -hmm. that are adulterated. Mm -hmm. And so you find, you walk into a supermarket and you find uh, some good labeled honey on mm -hmm. the shelf, mm -hmm. but you taste it and it tastes nothing like honey. Okay. And so um, in our ear, we push metric, lots of metric tons mm -hmm. of honey. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we've barely scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. There's so many other people out there that we need to reach with this gospel of honey, mm -hmm. um, just because of its health benefits. Okay, and now since you've mentioned it, you know, the, the, uh, the call it a fake honey, mm -hmm. how, how, how frequent or how, how big is, uh, I'd call it the fake honey industry <laughs> so far in Kenya? And also, how would you be able to differentiate between real honey and uh, not so real honey, or honey with other, added things okay so so we, we cannot exactly quantify how big um fake honey has infilt infiltrated the market mm. but i mean it's it's it's, it's as simple as uh, just looking at what prices people are offering in the market mm. uh, you find people offering really really low prices prices that we could not imagine as a company for example mm -hmm. that that brings in and imports even honey from outside of kenya mm -hmm. um going that low mm -hmm. and so um two things that we, sh we should we should know about mm -hmm. number one is uh, people look at honey on the shelves, on the supermarket shelves, and it's crystallized, and they say, oh, ah, this, this honey, mm -hmm. um, uh, it has scarring, scarring good too. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it's not true for, for most um, notable honey brands. Okay. Um, unfortunately, um, people in the country and people who, have, who frequently take honey, mm -hmm. uh, most probably than not know someone who knows someone who comes from Kitui, mm -hmm. or knows someone who yeah. knows another person who's a brother or to a sister to, mm -hmm. to someone else mm -hmm. who keeps, you know, who keeps mm -hmm. bees. Yeah. And so they prefer to go directly to farm to, mm -hmm. buy, to buy their honey. Mm -hmm. um, and so the industry is big. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of infiltration of bad honey. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, most of us have not acquired the taste to mm -hmm. know which honey is real and which one is not. Okay. People will see dark honey uh, versus light honey and yeah. they'll think the light honey is the original honey yeah. and the dark honey is. Yeah. But really the difference is uh, the area where the bees are kept, what forage they feed on. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in most dry areas, mm -hmm. um, areas like Baringo, for example, mm -hmm. and Kitui, mm -hmm. you find that their honey is a bit lighter okay. and it tends to be a bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. But in areas uh, such as, uh, say, Kakuzi or, uh, you know, central Kenya, mm -hmm. um, you find the honey to be a bit darker, a bit darker. Uh, just because of the forage. Okay. I mean, that 
the, that the bees, the, the kind of flowers that the bees feed on. And so um, just to dispel any fears, any, um, any misconceptions about honey, dark honey and light honey is all honey, mm -hmm. only that it tastes different, um, and it tastes different for, for, for one major reason, um, where the honey comes from and what the um, bees in that area feed on. All honey, all products that are manufactured within the country, not just honey alone, yeah. have to go through the Kenya Bureau of Standards mm. for testing. Yeah. And uh, usually you will want to look out for those marks. Yeah. Now the problem becomes um, when you find a product that's been on the shelves mm. and it was tested by Kebs, mm. but uh, somewhere along the way someone wants to make some quick bucks. Mm. And so they start adulterating, adding water, you know, mm. adding one or two things, mm. uh, just to, you know, to make some little bit more money. Let's talk money. Seeds of gold is all about the money. Yes. Now, give me rough estimates mm -hmm. of how much you get your honey for, mm -hmm. approximately the cost of uh, the entire production process and packaging and whatnot, mm -hmm. to how much you would sell it, or, or rather how much I'd pick it from the shelves. So we buy honey from uh, upwards of 160 mm -hmm. uh, Kenya shillings. Uh, That's per, package, kilo, per kilo, per kilo from the farmer. Yes. Of course, there's a lot of inputs that we need to do. We have bills to pay, electricity, pasteurization, yes. we need yes. to pay our employees. Yeah. Our prices, we try to keep them as fair as possible mm. because we want to be fair to both our farmers and we also want to be fair to our customers. Yes. So how much, for example, would I buy a kilo of uh, honey from the shops for? Or probably this one. This a is kilo, so, so we'd sell you a kilo of raw honey um, at about uh, 600 Kenya shillings. Okay. Yes. That's after the whole process yes. has taken exactly okay. yeah. so would say that there is money in honey oh there's loads of money in honey Sweet I mean, look look money. at all of this look <laughs> at all of this uh, all of this product waiting okay. to go out yeah. and, and so my encouragement is you see um, Albert Einstein said that without bees human beings would only have four years to live mm. so you can imagine the kind of uh, weight mm. that our lives um, or, or rather the kind of weight that we've placed on bees yeah to um, um, to make sure that we continue living. Mm -hmm. And so pollination from, from bees and other insects mm -hmm. is really important mm -hmm. and we need to conserve mm -hmm. this. Realize that um, a, a bee is a really small thing mm -hmm. and one bee only produces about an eighth teaspoon, if I'm not wrong, of honey in its whole lifetime. Uh, so you can imagine every time you take a teaspoon and that's uh, about 12 ounces mm -hmm. of, uh, of honey, mm -hmm. then that's 12 bees uh, entire life. Mm -hmm. So we need to conserve our environment. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we, we keep bees. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, my encouragement would be, if you want a small piece of land mm -hmm. that has flowers, that has plants, mm -hmm. I mean, one beehive is enough. Mm -hmm. Just just for you to be able to conserve the environment and mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, um, there is continuity and posterity mm -hmm. in the lives of bees. From the farm to the market and back to Kitui County, beekeeping compared to other farming enterprises is a venture that requires minimal capital and labor and the returns are guaranteed. That has been a day in Mr. Kiema's farm. We have learned the importance of bees and beekeeping. We are at only 20% of our potential as a country in bee farming. We can get to 80, we can get to 100%. Every product from the bee, across the value chain, from the bees themselves, well, you can even sell the, the queen bees for money to the bee wax, to the honey, to the propolis, to the venom, to the pollen. All these are products from the bee. So next time he calls you honey, he actually means the cosmetics on your face made from the bee's wax. This is Seeds of Gold.